everyone. Welcome back here. So today, like I said, I'm going to be testing out this DeWalt 20 ounce camper's axe, they call it. So I'm going to try to get a good review in on this one. A uh, nice thorough review. I'm going to cut a bunch of uh, different kinds of wood. I'm going to cut some nice dry wood that I've had at my house and see how it performs. All right? So stick around. It's going to be fun. All right. So before I do anything, <laughs> I'm going to show the sheath here, which is <laughs> not my ideal sheath, I tell you that. They could have did a lot better with this. First of all, you can see how crappy the belt loop is. I think I mentioned that at home. This belt is one of my dress belts. And this is about the only one that fits it. And this is about an inch and a sixteenth wide. So there's not much room there for anything else. You probably get a belt that's about an inch and a quarter, inch and an eighth wide. So I'm not liking their sheath right off the rip. But it really doesn't matter because it's really just the axes. But I like to be able to carry it around too. So once it's in the sheath, it's really got great retention. Okay? So I like it there. And I like, you can just, when it works, it pops up, pop it right back in, okay? So that's the sheath. <laughs> okay, so, next step is to process some firewood for a fire, okay? So I'm going to use my little stove. And I have some sort of a little anvil here, stump. <coughs> Axe could be a very dangerous tool still really not comfortable with it. I need a better stump, I know. I need a better, bigger saw so I can cut a bigger one down. Right, so that's basically the premise. And then I'll cut these down, I'll make some feather sticks out of those. See it work a lot better if I had a better stump. And I just took a nice chip out of that. Hit the rock. There we go. Just you know, need some practice. That's all. Alright. No big deal. I have some softer wood here. Splits it very nicely. It's really wet. Maybe I can Hammer that in the ground, so we'll get <laughs> nice. And I uh, did mention it's got a great hammer head on the back for camp chores, nailing in uh, uh, tent stakes and uh, pretty much whatever you want to use a hammer for. 
something like this, which I just demonstrated. Let's try a other different kind of wood, which is soaked in the middle. Bam. Beautiful split. Take it down another one. some practice. Beautiful split. Split it like this too. That seemed to work better. Holy jeez, that seemed to work a lot better. Now that I got this thing in the ground and it's sturdy. Wow. This baby's nice. I got one of these little uh, Smith sharpeners. It's got a carbide blade uh, on one side and a ceramic rod on the other side, and it fits right in that thing. And uh, I did chip it on the rock a little bit, but not too bad. It's still, it's got a little chip in it. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> that little chip right there. It's really nothing. It happens. big deal. Come back. Amateur hour. You get the hint, and you get the point. All right. So, sure. Well, it's not as sharp as Gary's axe. Let's go uh, check out his uh, channel, Connecticut uh, Backcountry. He's raffling off a uh, beautiful axe. One of his uh, charities that he supports, I think. Or, uh, it's really cool. Check out the channel to get all the details. But that's some little feather sticks there. Look like little uh, wafers. Cuts it. You got chips flying everywhere. Hmm. This is this is what I wanted to know. And this is just wood. I mean, come on. It's like hardened with like. You can see it chipping a little bit. It's like it's coated. Or it's like it's. Uh, oh. 
um, it's like it's laminated. That's it. It's like different, uh, like a sand mai, like different layers. But the bottom layer still looks very sharp. And it's like just it chipped that top layer. It could be this coating that's on it. Yeah, it's probably what it is. That it's a different color. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. We would figure it out. This cut this stuff like nothing though. <laughs> All right, it's a pretty good test. Oh, and the uh, I think that's about 14 inches, looks to be about five inches wide. Blade looks to be about three inches, and it's about 20 ounces. It's got good weight. The grip is really nice. Love the grip. She's a nice one. Say overall, works perfectly. So if you guys need a great camper's axe, I would recommend this one. Alright. 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 So, here's a little dead tree here. Dead standing. See the top. We're going to see if we can cut it down. Right. We're going to see why not, because it's a great little act. Damage check. Just some of that coating's coming off. Yep, yeah, that's exactly what it is. Coating. That baby's razor sharp. Woohoo! It's a test. So, very wieldable too. You know? It's got enough weight to where it wear, it'll wear you out. Um, it doesn't feel really, it is a little, no, I wouldn't say it's very head heavy. It's got a lot of weight in the handle too. It's psych balanced really great. So I think that's going to be about it. So let me know guys what you thought about it. Sorry, it's cold out here. My nose always runs in the cold. 
That's why you always hear me sniffling. <laughs> but let me know what you guys think of it, if you'd get it, uh, what not, and whatever. If you like the video, gives it a thumbs up. Really appreciate it. And uh, that'll be about it. Alright. Alright guys. Stay safe. And I'll see you on the next one. Yeah.